How does such a big engine get installed into a car body? Today, let us take a look at how a car factory installs an engine. First, the engine and the transmission are bolted together. That means a lot of bolts from the front and from the back. Next comes the starter motor, again tightened down with bolts. Then the air conditioning compressor goes on, pre-tightened using a Bosch electric tool. After that the generator is installed, you can tell the EA211 engine has pretty good integration. After all that intense bolting, torque has to be checked. If you skip that, the car will rattle like crazy when driving. The generator, starter motor, and compressor could come loose in no time, so robots are used to confirm the torque. Once the engine is joined to the subframe, it is placed onto a chassis tray. The shock absorbers, coil springs, exhaust system, catalytic converter, and rear suspension are all installed on this tray, forming the full chassis. At the same time, the engine bay gets the engine and transmission mounts, what most people call brackets. The left side connects to the transmission, the right side connects to the engine. These bolts need very high torque, so an Atlas electric torque tool is used to make sure everything is solid. When both sides are ready, the body and chassis are joined together. The chassis lift slowly rises, the body gently comes down, and from that moment on, they are one. More bolts go in, and once again, robots confirm the torque. 